Really what? And we have team coverage all across this area, and we want to go live now to our Scotty Hunter, who is in Easley right now. I'm seeing a little bit of rain out there, but the wind, the big story right now. Yeah, Margaret Ann, uh, forgive me for earlier the audio issues. You know, but the rain has calmed down just a bit. But, you know, look at my jacket. You can see how hard that wind is whipping. Also, on this clip around here, we're on Highway 153 in Easley, and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. You can see how those uh, traffic lights right there are just swaying in that wind. Uh, so that just gives you an idea of just how dangerous it is uh, to be driving around out here uh, on the roads. I want to bring in uh, Mr. Charles now. Uh, you're kind of hanging out here at the gas station. Uh, why is it so important for you to just kind of hunker down and stick this out, not be on the roads? The trees are down to my house. I can't get either way. I tried several ways to get to them. The trees are across the roads. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's so important. Have you seen anything like this before? Is this a scary situation for you? Not here, no. Yeah, never seen anything like this? Not like this. Uh, <laughs> was it what you were expecting or uh, a little bit more? A little bit more than what I expected. Usually they... Uh, I ain't going to say, to me, I think they usually exaggerate a little bit on weather, but they were dead on this time. Yeah. How important was it, I guess, to, you know, pay attention to those updates, though, and kind of see uh, what's coming and get that first alert before it happens? Very much. I would definitely, if I had to do all over again, I wouldn't have went to work this morning. I yeah. would, I'd stay there at the house. Sure. Now, you said you had a tree down near your house, or was it on your house? No, it was on the roads going to the house. On the road going to the house. So you're pretty much stranded at this point. Right. All right. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I okay. appreciate it. Uh, so guys, again, you know, folks just like Mr. Charles, who you just heard from there, uh, hunkering down at this gas station. Uh, we've seen a couple of people kind of come through here and uh, gas up, try to get some fuel uh, from this gas station. Uh, so I do believe that's still open. Some of the lights have been flickering off and on here at this gas station uh, for uh, the past couple of minutes. Uh, they've been flickering on and off. And uh, of course, that is a sign of just how hard that wind is whipping out here uh, and certainly the danger that still exists. Again, the rain is, has settled down just a little bit. That wind, though, is very much a problem here still uh, on Highway 153 and easily. We'll send it back to you guys.